In today's video, I will teach you how to create a simple floating logo in GIMP. Let's get started. The first step is creating a new image. To do this, open GIMP and go to File, then New. Then specify the dimensions for your logo. For example, you can put 256 pixels for the width and 128 pixels for the height. And now you can click OK to create the new image. The second step is to fill the new image with black. Make sure that the foreground color is set to black. Then select the Bucket Fill tool by going to Tools, Paint Tools, then Bucket Fill. And click on the canvas to fill the image with black. Now, let's add the text. Change the foreground color to white for better visibility. Then use the Text tool by going to Tools, then Text. Then use the Text tool to draw a text box on the canvas. Then enter your desired text, then adjust the font and size as needed. Then right-click on the text layer, then choose New from Visible, or go to Layer, then choose New from Visible. Now we're going to apply Gaussian Blur to the text layer. To do this, select the new layer, then go to Filters, Blur, then Gaussian Blur. Then adjust the blur radius to your preference and click OK. Now we're adding color and bump mapping. To add a color layer, create a new layer by going to Layer, then New Layer. Then add it above the text layer. Now fill it with color using Filters, Render, Noise, then Plasma. And to apply bump mapping, Go to Filters, Map, then Bump Map to create a 3D effect on the color layer. Then choose the visible layer as the Bump Map source and adjust the settings as desired. Now, to apply the layer mask, select the color layer, then go to Layer, Mask, then Add Layer Mask. Then set the initialized layer mask to to white full opacity. Then copy the visible layer, click on the mask, and paste it. Then anchor the pasted layer to the mask. Now we're going to adjust the levels and fine tune. Now activate the mask and go to colors, then levels. Then modify the gamma and white point sliders to sharpen the edges of the text. And for the drop shadow, Duplicate the visible layer by going to Layer, then Duplicate Layer. Or simply use the shortcut key shift Control d Then invert the colors by going to Colors, then Invert. And make the white areas transparent by going to Layers, Transparency, and Color to Alpha. Now, move the shadow layer beneath the Plasma layer using the Move tool. Then adjust the position using the Move tool to create a shadow effect. Optionally, you can apply a Gaussian Blur by going to Filters, Blur, then Gaussian Blur. Then adjust the opacity for a realistic shadow. And now you've successfully created a floating logo using GIMP. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, Turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.